Saint Pius V died the 1st of May 1571, six years after his pontificate, and was buried in his tomb at the request of Pope Sixtus V, who in turn is buried in, uh, on the opposite side of the chapel. Pius V was canonized by Pope Clement XI on May the 22nd, 1712. He fought against the external and internal enemies of the Church, Ottoman Turks and Huguenots Protestants. This year is also the 450th anniversary of the great victory of Lepanto, which took place on October the 7th, 1571. On uh, his uh, tomb, we see some of the important uh, episodes of uh, his uh, struggle. On the left, we see Pius V seated uh, on uh, his uh, throne as he hands the banner of the Christian fleet to Don John of Austria, the winner of the Battle of the Panto. Next to Don Giovanni is Marco Antonio Colonna, Admiral of the uh, Papal Fleet at Lepanto. On the right, uh, we see him handing the captain's staff to the Count of Santa Fiora, victor over the Huguenots in France. In the center, above his statue, we find the coronation of the Pope, while uh, on the two smaller panels uh, located on uh, both uh, sides are depicted the victory of Lepanto and that against the Huguenots. This is the chapel of the Lepanto Foundation. The image of St. Pius V accompanies us every day. Michele Ghislieri was a resolute and combative pontiff, but the secret behind his battles and victories lies in the spiritual weapons he used, which begins with the Holy Rosary. The institution of the Feast of Our Lady of Victories, also known as Our Lady of Rosary, and the introduction into the Litany of Loreto of the Marian title of Auxilium Christianorum was the last relevant action of his pontificate. Now he is in heaven and protests us in our struggle against the external and internal enemies of the Church. <laughs>